So the, you think that there is a, I mean, could there be a, a kind of a, a higher or an, another purpose for the for the existence that, that we are experiencing now, considering that there is, in a way, there that there is, uh, uh, on many levels, attributed to, you know, there is, for, for those who have eyes to see it, it, it is a very uh, hopeless thing. But but the question is, I guess, if if is this only the fact if we view it from from a certain point of view, or is this across the board? Is there another, you know, purpose for for our existence here? Do you think that then the one we might, uh, you know, think of every day when we wake up and don't, you know, we have to. This is something I guess you have to um, uh, f- focus on, or actually, you know, uh, m- more spiritually in a way than uh, than actually, you know, just trying to go out there and and battle or fight the new world order because it seems like. Whatever happens on on the physical level is 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 impossible at this point. Don't you agree? Yeah, the, the physical is no problem to them. They have they have all the bully boys they need. They've yeah. matured of bred generations with the most base education, the most base culture, and basically no parental influence. Hmm. So they have enough bully boys to do the dirty deeds, <laughs> but um, that's not enough. Obviously, they, they they're so terrified of something. That have gone to such extreme measures to be to control every man, woman, and child on the planet for forever to come, basically, mm-hmm. and published it. So, um, you, you see, what you have, you, you cannot make the bulk of the population change their ways, even if you could tell them another way to go to live. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Most of them, this is all they know. This this particular eight to five. Monday to Friday routine and reward yourself at the end of the month with mm-hmm. a treat. Mm-hmm. That's what they know, and they'd fight you. In fact, if you could possibly give them a, an alternative, I think so. So, so the bulk of the populace will always stand up for the status quo, even if the status quo is going to kill them, hmm. and they, they know it. Hmm. They're well, like I'm lemmings that will go over the edge, and they can't help themselves. Because they're more fearful of the unknown than the known. Yeah. Ah. They're not risk takers. Uh, but it feels like a lot of people, you know, complain about their day job, you know, and they want to get out of the system in a way. But do, do you think that that that's all, you know, uh, you know, a mouthpiece? It's it's nothing true in that. Uh, you, you know, by their actions. Mm. It's not what people say; it's what by what they do. Oh yeah, yeah, I agree on that definitely. That that's right. If if we if you believe that you can make it or, or break out of the system or or even the, you know financially or, or whatever, um, I definitely think that there is a it's a possibility of doing that. It's it's in in that sense I'm a strong believer in in in, in you know the intention power. If if you actually focus on something and if, if you want it bad enough, you actually are going to get it. But as you say, if if uh, the if the actions of the people are that they're still within the system but yet complain, uh, there is maybe some unconscious level to these persons that they still they want to be in that role and they might even fe- feel uh, comfortable within it because they are taken care of in a way, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, you, th- there's such a thing as, as a happy slavery. Yeah. And Charles Galton Darwin, like the grandson of Charles, said in his book, The Next Million Years, he said, he says, we are now creating a more sophisticated form of slavery, mm. and, and that's called socialism. Mm. Uh, Bush Sr. used a term which the United Nations told them to use, because they're using it now, mm. and it's, it's called communitarianism rather than communism. Mm-hmm. It's mm. really collectivism. Mm. And knowing that the, about 80-odd percent, maybe more today, of the, the populace are happy to be... Uh, to have the illusion, at least, they're being well looked after, mm. as long as they can play from from right right, right through their, their adulthood mm-hmm. or they die, mm. but without having to worry about serious problems or making big serious decisions. Mm. Uh, see, socialism or collectivism is perpetual childhood. So, but the and so people are making decisions as to what's going to happen to them on yeah. an individual basis. Mm. Every day. You hear them by those who say, "I don't want to know." Yeah, that's right. <laughs> They're telling you that they are making decisions. To but the, the, in a way, they're they're also uh, putting off or, or postponing the 
the biggest challenge of them all because uh, in a way uh, in the end if 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 you know if the big boys as it were gets the way it wants these people are going to end up in a well it, it depends on how you view it i guess because I- in a way we might actually live now in in the perfect uh, system because as the old empires, you know, if we study them, they have they have fallen because of you know either that they couldn't supply you with enough you know bread and circuses as, we, as we've been talking about, or uh, but that would put this society that we live in now in a way the the perfect system to actually uh, so it can sustain itself and actually prevent itself from from collapsing because uh, uh, as long as we can you know give give people enough. Uh, you know, p- products or whatever uh, that would, you know, something that will actually stimulate them enough so they don't want to wake up or don't want to. They don't want to ask the questions. They they don't even don't want to escape from their, um, you know, their regular patterns basically. So we might now be in the perfect uh, society for for the for, from the elites' point of view, I guess. Yes, we are. Yeah, they have trained uh, generations now into this. With a fake reality, uh, which comes from television, they, they watch. Uh, again, Jack C. Lowell said, uh, again, one of the top sociologists, mm. behavioral scientists, he said in the 50s, he said, uh, the public don't realize that every part of entertainment, especially to do with, with television shows on, on dramas, mm. fiction, on cops, police, and hospitals, and social workers, and so on, mm. is all propaganda. Mm. <laughs> because it's meant to give you a fake view of what it's really all about, mm. um, so that you'll obey these things as authorities, not as services. Yeah. And that has happened. That's been fulfilled. People truly think uh, that the social services are out there to help them. They don't realize there's a massive business there mm. that grabs elderly people and, and puts them in a hospital and confiscates their homes and sells them and puts the money in their bank accounts for the hospital staff, you know, at the top. Mm -hmm. They don't know the reality of these scams. Mm. They they believe the TV drama fictional version. And that's why there's so many cop shows and and, uh, about them tracking the murderer. It's always some severe crime. Yeah. (laughs) It's so dedicated. Police are not there to do that. Police are there to spy on everyone, including you. Mm. That's always been the job of policemen. You know, so... Mm. Mm. It gives you distorted perception of a reality. It in other words, it, it, it camouflages the bars around the system. Mm, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, the prison without the bars, as it were, <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but I mean, if, if let's say more and more people, and I heard report the reports about this or, or news stories about that, a lot of people actually are. Uh, in a way, turning away at least from you know ma- mainstream media reporting, a, l- a lot more people are turning to the internet. Of course, there will be a consequent reaction to this, and there there is now, of course, uh, uh, f- from from uh, you know the the elite, they, they flood the internet with a lot of information and so forth. Of course, but um, but but I think it's th- it feels like in a way that the old uh, uh, you know the television as per se as it as it is functioning now is is a bit turning away from uh, or people are turning away from it I should say and finding other uh, you know sources uh, do you think that that is a sign of something uh, positive or is that just a sign no, that it, something see, again we're dealing with think tanks that plan a future and every possible uh, happen uh, happening in the future mm. the, the it's very much it's very much like the Talmud it's a Talmudic technique mm-hmm. um those who study the, the Talmud, um, and you've probably seen uh, Jewish rabbis as they, they sort of bob towards each other, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, up and down, up and down. Yeah. Well, one throws out a question about something that you and I would say is so immaterial or irrelevant. Mm-hmm. But there's it's actually one to do with a comb. Who drops the comb? Okay, does the person who sees it drop? Is he responsible for that? What will happen? Could someone fall, trip over that? Who's responsible? Yada, yada. In other words, they, they take a, a, a happening and take a thousand possible consequences from that happening. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, that's how think tanks and military circles work. Mm-hmm, yeah. Now, they didn't give us the internet to help us. Internet means to bury the net. You enter the net. Mm-hmm. You see? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. International means to bury the nation. Mm, yeah. <laughs> you see? Mm, yeah. And and so we are all we're the fish 
in the net. Yeah, yeah. And when they pull that drawstring, we all get pulled in, you see. Mm. It's also called the web. The web is something you get stuck upon. Yeah, that's right. That's it's definitely. not to free you. you, you get stuck at it. Yeah. So they gave us this, and Brzezinski again talked about it before the public got it. Mm. He published it in his book, and he, and he said shortly the public will be given a form of communication which they think will be there to benefit themselves. Mm -hmm. But will actually, in actual fact, be there to, to condition a world society along a certain way of thinking. Mm -hmm. And it's done primarily, again, through, through the, the big boys putting out the biggest sites there. If you go into the Internet, it's like an LSD trip. <laughs> There's more phony but well-financed organizations out there with massive sites on Atlantis and everything else, you know, mm -hmm. uh, to keep you all fascinated in a, a never-never land forever and ever mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, until everything is surrealistic and your concepts and perceptions become, and your conclusions are surrealistic. They're not based on realism. 